In this video, we'll take a look at the Minuteman K rocket stove. The K stove is a great stove for a long stay at a campsite or as part of a permanent outdoor kitchen. I'll put it to a real test and cook some New York strip steaks on a vegetable side. I'll tell you now, I think it's a great hot stove, so let's put it to the test. If a disaster struck and the conventional ways of cooking, such as using propane or electricity, were no longer an option, you need a way of cooking on an open flame with small amounts of consumable fuel, basically whatever you can find. This is really where the Minuteman K rocket stove excels. In this test, I just used two smallish pieces of firewood I processed down and some sticks from my yard and a few pieces of scrap wood from my shop. The design of the stove is pretty ingenious. Fuel wood or paper or other combustible material is fed into the 45 degree angle tube. Ash can be cleared from the tube below and your flames and heat are concentrated up the vertical tube to your cooking platform. The stove comes with a bag of Maya sticks which are fat wood starters for your fire. With just a little feathering they ignite pretty easily. There are five reasons you'll want to consider to determine if this stove is right for you. Number five, they produce very little smoke. Once they get started, they burn very efficiently and produce little smoke, which is great for your operational security. If you start cooking on an open flame after disaster in your area and people find themselves unprepared or unable to cook food, you'll draw attention to yourself with a fire that produces a lot of smoke. Having the ability to keep smoke to a minimum will prevent you from drawing unwanted attention. Smoke is going to be somewhat determined by the fuel you're putting into your fire, but the high concentrated temperature of the heated vertical tube forces gases to mix with flames when in use. The result is a very contained fire with a low smoke signature. I did notice that it produced some noticeable smoke, but I found that was not the stove's fault as much as my own getting used to feeding and stoking the fire regularly to keep it going well. You can see here, I tried placing the log pieces in the 45 degree pipe and they burned up and generated a bit of smoke. This design definitely favors smaller pieces of wood, sticks, bark, and the like. It's not really intended as a self-feeding fire. It's meant to take the biomass fuel you put into it and burn it hot. Number four, concentrated fire. This Minuteman K stove got hot very quickly. Within minutes, my cast iron skillet was smoking more than the fire at a steak searing temperature of over 550 degrees. Keeping the fire well fed is really the key with at least a few pieces large enough to keep the heat steady and form a coal base. You want to place the K stove so that the feeding pipe is facing into the wind. This will keep your fire hotter and your smoke less. I had a bit of a shifting light breeze, but that was easily fixed with some attention to my fire. The coals and the ash are fed from the lower hole, so I wanted to set this up on my grass and really put it to the test. I was surprised that the base stayed very cool, and I didn't have any coals drop out unless I poked around in the bottom tube because the fire was so efficient. Number three, variety of biomass fuels. For this test, I used just two smallish pieces of firewood I processed down and some sticks from my yard and a few pieces of scrap wood from my shop. I could have easily fed it pieces of bark, mulch, or even paper. It was really efficient at taking what I fed it and creating a concentrated fire with very little ash. To get it started, I just feathered one of the Maya sticks, lit it, and put it in with some small pieces of wood and some mulch. The fire was going very well in a very short time. This is of course great after disaster when you have limited options. You could put dried leaves, twigs, pine needles, pieces of cotton fabric, or just about anything else, and it's designed to burn the material efficiently and hot. I was pleasantly surprised that I was able to cook the entire meal with just my little amount of wood. Number two, large cooking area. Unlike many stoves on the market today, this Minuteman K rocket stove had a nice wide cooking area that easily supported one of my larger cast iron pans. Though my placement of the K stove was intentionally on an uneven surface and the cooking area wasn't perfectly level, at no time was I at risk of my pans lighting off the cooking surface. In my second test, I used a pot with one gallon of water to see how fast I could get it to a boil. At pretty close to sea level in a pot without a lid, I achieved a sufficient enough boil to purify water in just under 15 minutes. That may sound like a long time, but that's a lot of water to bring up in temperature. A smaller amount in a pot with a lid could be boiled in a much shorter time. In the other Minuteman rocket stove, I was able to get four cups of water to boil in just under eight minutes. Similar or better results could be achieved with this stove at a quarter of the volume. And the number one reason is efficiency. The number one reason this is a stove you should consider is that just a handful of fuel can cook an entire meal. 
It uses a lot less fuel than an open fire. Actually, it uses less than one tenth the wood required by an open cooking fire or wood burning stove. There's no need to store large supplies of wood, scavenge, harvest, or process a bunch of wood to cook your food. Demonstration. Here I cook the steaks to a medium rare by searing them first in a little beef towel, cooking them on each side, adding butter, and finishing them with onions and a little bit of pepper and some mushrooms, and a hefty dollop of chimichurri. I followed that up with some Brussels sprouts cooked in bacon grease. I let them caramelize and brown just a bit. Then I added a little water to get them steaming. To this, I mixed in about a tablespoon of fermented garlic honey. Then I hit it with a couple of splashes of soy sauce and some sesame seeds. They came out excellent. When you're done, just let the fire burn out completely. Wait 10 minutes for it to cool down. And you can easily dump the coals and carry it away. That's what I liked about the stove. I was easily able to make a fantastic meal with an efficient and contained fire. However, there are a couple of things you need to consider. It comes with operating instructions which state, the paint may crack and peel in the hottest areas of your stove. Keep your stove touched up using high temperature barbecue paint from your local hardware or automotive store. This was accurate. The paint was chipping on both sides near the center of the fire chamber. That's not a problem for me, as I can just hit it with a wire brush and a little bit of $8 barbecue paint. But you have to be aware that you'll need to maintain this stove. If it's in a fixed location, you could probably season it like you would cast iron. The second thing to consider is that it isn't as portable as its smaller Minuteman cousin. It's light enough to take to the beach, lake, camping, or anywhere you can get to in your vehicle. But at 25 pounds, you will want to move it to a location and then not move it much more from there. Compared to its cousin, you'll get a lot more cooking area and efficiency out of this K-stove. But you lose some pack out, what you pack in capabilities and mobility. Hopefully this video gave you enough information to help you decide whether a K-rocket stove would be a valuable item to add to your prepper inventory. These would come in handy in any disaster situation where fuel may be limited and you don't want to draw attention to yourself. I fired this up in the suburbs of Southern California during fire season and not a single neighbor called the fire department on me. So there's that. Camping trips, extended periods in rugged conditions or the beach or river, this is a great stove to use. If you have any questions, please post those in the comment section below. As always, stay safe out there and keep prepping.